A new port on the Levy Brewery is looking at possibly shutting its doors this week, less than a year after initially opening those doors. One of the owners tells us they're just not making enough money right now. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Otley is live at 16 Lots Brewing with details and the plea they are issuing right now. Madeline? Craig, they have a prime location here right on the Ohio River. But despite this, one of the owners tells me they're not even able to pay their payroll. And now, like you said, they are looking at the possibility of closing this space by the end of the week. This was an iconic spot. We jumped at it. It was supposed to be a dream come true, but from day one. There were a lot of obstacles. 16 Lots Brewing has had its Mason location for years. This expansion opened in the spring. What we thought was a really good plan and a good budget for opening. We actually went over that by $1.5 million. Co-founder Del Hall blames logistics getting equipment into the space. We were so far behind. We knew that we were going to have a shorter runway than we wanted. Since then, business just hasn't caught up, even with help from the owner of the property. I think just kind of were sequestered here on the end. Several businesses have closed in the levee the past few years. I think it's a misnomer that people think that the levee itself is not doing well because by all intents and purposes it is. There's new businesses here and more coming. It really is only the beginning. The Northern Kentucky Chamber points to the incoming Margaritaville Resort and development on the Ovation Project. You see really an explosion of economic development. My hope is that we can find ways to support the businesses that are there now in anticipation of that event. 16 Lots closed its kitchen Sunday and laid off most of its staff. They'll run the bar with three people this week. If we continue that model and it's kind of sustainable, then maybe we can limp through till March. March would be March Madness. It would be St. Patrick's Day. Every week buys Hall a little more time to possibly find a new partner willing to step in. You know, I'm willing to give it a shot. You know, I'm not a quitter. Here is where you come in. The owners here want you to come down this week and help them kill the keg, and they have a lot of them. See this fermenter? Each one of these holds about 40. They tell me Friday is the day where they'll be able to tell if they can keep these doors open or if they're going to have to close up shop. For now, live in Newport, Madeline Adelie, WCPO 9 News.